Okay, family, how are you? It's me, Miss Sam. Um, hugs and kisses to you. So I've had a few requests yesterday under um, one of the Lisa Marie Presley and Priscilla Presley videos to do a reading on this lady called Nicola, Nicola Bully. And this is a most extraordinary case um, from my understanding. And I'm going to read an article and then pull some cards. From my understanding, Nicola has been missing for a few days. She was out walking her dog. Her husband says he don't know nothing. The sister says she don't know nothing. Apparently husband and sister were laughing or something like that. I saw in some comments somewhere, the police saying they don't know. There's a big manhunt for this lady. This is a mystery of... Um, it's gained a lot of attention. So let me just read this article here, which is from the um, Daily Mirror. And um, I'm going to scrape this chair just a second. Okay. And her parents, <clears throat> it's so cold, I've got my warm caftan on. Her parents are saying that um, they suspect somebody has got her based upon their last communications with Nicola. And her surname is spelled B-U-L-L-Y, Nicola Bully. All right, here's the article. So, Miss and Nicola Bully's parents share last conversation and fear someone has got her. Nicola Bully has been missing from her home in Inskip in Lancashire since Friday morning when she was last seen walking her dog, Willow. Her parents exclusively told the mirror of their conversation with Nicola. Now, um... This is Nicola. I'm going to see if I can. All right, this is her. Don't know if you can see her. Okay. Come out a little bit. It's so bright, isn't it? All right, hold on, wait. All right, that's her. All right, <clears throat> let me turn the um, thing up again. The light was so bright. Uh, <clears throat> so it was 9.20 in the morning that she was last seen on the footpath. Apparently she was seen by this lady and this lady is now being harassed for some strange reason. I've got to tell you that the United Kingdom is a very, very strange country at times. Okay. Um, there is an article... It's not coming up. Right, okay. So, okay. Passerby raised alarm after finding worried dog alone and off its leash. Um, an unnamed business owner spotted Nicola Bully, Nicola Bully's brown Springer Spaniel Willow running free and also found her mobile phone on a bench by the side of the river on Friday. Now, apparently Nicola was um, in a conference call or she logged on to a conference call and um, then her phone was found on a bench, okay? So Nicola texted her friend a significant message. Um, this, the, the words significant message must come from the cops, okay? Minutes before going missing. So she messaged her friend something. She is a mother of two. She's 45 years old. Um, and this all took place after she dropped her daughters at school, okay? Um, she is married. A friend who said she was acting with the family's permission said that the only CCTV camera that would show everything wasn't working and said it was normal for Nicola's dog, Willow, to have her harness off, okay? Um, this is... Right, so apparently this is near the River Wye. Oh, sorry, the River Weir, W-Y-R-E, okay? And um, the dog was dry. It was, the dog was bone dry, so it's not like the dog dropped in the river or something like that, okay? Um, so for all intents and purposes, this lady went out for a walk and... Uh, Went out for a walk and has gone missing. 
Let's pull some cards, okay? Oh, shame. Thank you, Oladumare Ashe. Where is Nicola Bully? Where is Nicola Bully? Where is Nicola Bully? Okay, we've got nine of wands in reverse. There's a house here. Look at the house in the background. The house is upside down. It's very likely that Nicola is underneath somebody's house. Shade in the river. But then again... When this card came up in one of the readings last week, this was a house by a bayou and a house on stilts, yeah, with water nearby it or next to it. So, Nicola Bully is either in under somebody's house or she is underneath someone's house, which is nearby the river. So, any house near that river wire... Or, or where, you know, the UK has such weird names for different places. Any house that's nearby that river needs to be, they need to go have a look in that, okay? Now we've got nine of wands in reverse. Um, there is an indication here that... Um, Nicola's journey in the morning to drop off her children wasn't there and back. It wasn't leave home, take the dog for a walk while taking the children to school, dropping them off and then taking the dog back for a walk and going home. There's some kind of interruption there in that journey that she knowingly did. So there's somebody who she visited with and she has visited before, someone who she has met with and she has met with them before, okay? This is just what's coming up, all right? So it's not a straightforward journey. Um, the thing about this Nine of Wands, though, is that there's this element of danger to it that Nicola knew that she shouldn't have been doing this. For some reason, I don't know what it is, she's a grown woman, 40-something, um, and obviously didn't, wherever she went or whatever she was doing, she didn't bring her children along with her. It's a bit like uh, me time, if you like, but... Um, yeah, there was some kind of something dodgy about it. Okay, and she had done this several times beforehand. Um, the Nine of Wands, by the way, especially in the reverse, is somebody who's, you know, embattled, somebody who's been through it time and time and time again. And um, the ones are actions, it's fire energy. So it's something that she's doing. Okay, now, <laughs> and I'm laughing because. You know, people, I don't know if she had work to go to and stuff like that. And you'd be surprised sometimes the most innocent looking of people lead double and triple lives. Um, and they'd be involved in some activities that you'd never really expect them to be, to be involved in. Uh, so she was definitely doing something or meeting with someone or there was some kind of that... Um, perhaps her family didn't know about and her friends who said, you know, that friend who just talked and said that she was talking on behalf of the family or with the family's permission or whatever, she don't know anything. <laughs> okay? She don't know nothing. All right? And because she said it was usual for the dog to be off of the leash. Okay. Fine. But, you know, usually when dog owners let the dog off the leash and stuff... You know, sometimes they be thinking in their own thoughts or they're talking to somebody else or they're sitting down texting on a bench or whatever. You know, it's that type of thing. There's something else usually that the other the, the person could be doing or whatever, or it's just thinking time or whatever. But there is this, whatever it is, which was inadvisable. We've got nine of ones here in reverse. This is Nicola here on the card, and we see the house on stilts, house near a river, etc., that um, she's possibly under or near. Okay, next card. Okay. 
We've got more water energy. This is the river. Okay, you see the person who's walking across the river. This this is the moon card. So the moon card has this crazy irrational energy to it, family. Can you see me? I've, do I need to turn the light on? Um... See the bridge there? Nicola's crossing across the um, bridge by this little lake, by this river. There is something there enticing her, enchanting. So it's something that she wanted to do. There was something that attracted her to wherever it is that she was, was going and, and whatever she was doing. But it's not a supernatural enchantment. You know, she, <coughs> she hasn't been... Um, captured by any spirits there this is um human this is the natural not the supernatural but um you'll see that nicola's hair is covering her face we can't see her face she's the lady on the card there okay meaning this is what she was doing in secret so nobody knew about it it's not something that she shared with other people um is she dead? Is she alive? I know I said she's under a house or next to a house. Let's see. Ace of coins here. Well, at this point, family, she's alive. Ace of coins upright. Ace of coins refers to money, vitality, health, material things, that type of stuff. So in regards to the health of somebody or whether someone's alive or unalive, it looks like Nicola is alive today. And um, today is Sunday, uh, Egyptian time. So um, yes. All right. So this is a good reading, but it looks like somebody has got her. Okay, so she's made a little friend somewhere that she didn't tell anybody about. I don't know what her attraction was to this person, but um, you can see the light here on the on the lake, on the pond. It's the light of the moon. Yeah, see the light of the moon reflected on the pond, on the lake. This is Nicola going across, hiding her face, going across a bridge. Um, there is some kind of... You see the trees there in the background. That's the park that she was in, the, the forest, wherever that river is. Um, not really familiar with that part of the United Kingdom. It's up north. So um, as a London girl, I wouldn't really know it. And as a Scottish, someone who lived in Scotland for many, many years. Um, yeah, I'm not familiar with that part at all. But um <clears throat> The United Kingdom is full of lakes and forests and bushes and all this type of thing. So um, so uh, that's where she's at. I don't know what else I can really say, but we'll leave it right here. Okay. Um, sometimes, you know, speculation is not good and that type of thing, but it's never really stopped me as a tarot reader. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's watch this space. And um, <clears throat> if there's a rescue effort, watch this rescue effort. They really do need to have the right people for the job. I'm not really sure. The experts who are involved in this, but they really do need some high caliber people who are involved in negotiations. Um, I'm picking up like hostage energy as well. So somebody who is very skilled in hostage negotiations for this, this wee lady, because it looks as if whoever has her um, is not going to let her go without some kind of uh, mastermind plan, rescue effort, etc. So it's watch this space. Okay. And dare I say it, this is the most riveting thing that has happened Um in the UK in many, many, many years. It's very, very interesting. Um, I think that we should still look at the husband though. Okay. We should still look at the husband because he may have some information. I'm not really, uh, he may have some information which may be pertinent. Uh, just, that's just, you know, non-spiritual input. And uh, I'm not sure why her parents 
were alarmed at the last communication that they had with her. It's likely that parents, you know, tend to read things into the last communications, etc., with um, tend to read things into the last communications that they had with people, especially when they can't find them. Let me leave it right there, www.celestialtarotreadings.com. My name is Miss Sam from Egypt. Ashe, bless.